Hi everyone, Vita Zay for YouTube back again with another top 10. And now today I'm looking at the top 10 decks for March of 2017. I actually only had 10 decks that I received, so it was perfect. I mean, I had also the Anglo decks and the Bicycle Super Gap, but I'm not including those because they're not new. The heck, the Gap deck is not even an actual deck. But let's start it off. Number 10. FPC Impressions for Make Point Cards. There's the, the Racing Back and the Cardinal Edition. Very nice decks. Of course, they have the uh, fairly straightforward back design. And the faces. You get this nice textured, glossy embossing. Beautiful. Very nice. But it is just kind of more of the same that we've already seen, so it, I couldn't put it higher on the list. It's got a nice linen finish, oops, and um, apparently dribbles okay. Dribbles all right, and handles pretty decently considering all that embossing raised texture on the faces. The other one is more the same, except that it's black, and in the faces, red and white. So that is that one. Number 10, NPC Impressions. Cardinal Edition and the Racing Edition, to be exact. Right, uh, it's the last ones they did, most recent ones. Next up, number 9, we got the Mondrian, which is, well, it's interesting enough. A colorful deck. It's got a shiny silver interior printed by USBC and it's made designed by Nicholas Earl and Tomas Pinston and for cutmagicsop.com. Uh, interesting back design, mirror image, fairly straightforward on the faces, including the court cards, just generic. The Jokers, they're well, they're okay. And there's the Ace of Spades. The only reason why this one is actually higher than the NPC deck is because, well, for one, the stock and finish is a little bit better, and two, it's actually a brand new idea. Whereas the NPC impressions is just new colors, basically. But, um, that being said, it's not exactly an original idea, it's just that an art design that they used. Which makes me wonder why they needed two artists for this. And there are other decks that I've seen on Amazon. The same style art for the back design. Just made by other printers. But yeah, it's not bad. Bicycle Stock, Kirkus, and Finis. But definitely at the bottom of the list. Next up, number 8. Another one that probably would be at the bottom of the list. Is the Casino Royale Mystic Edition. I had the original one in January. Did not make the cut because there were so many decks, but this one obviously did. It's got purple colors. It's got a cutout so you can actually see the cards. Printed by uh, Taiwan Playing Card Company. I'm guessing that's Bomber Playing Cards. Um, fairly straightforward tough case. The cards, they actually got nice colored pips. Pink for hearts and diamonds and a blue for the spades and the clubs. Straightforward but customized court cards. Uh, interesting jokers, as you can see. And the aces, they all just have uh, a diamond type pip. They're pretty interesting. It's definitely an interesting stock and finish combination. The back design, just a diamond back pattern with dark colors. The other one's more colorful. Uh, stock and finish combination is okay. Put in Taiwan. Not the best, but it's not bad. Handles pretty good. And it looks very nice, colorful. I like it. The original one had a different stock and finish combination, which is a little bit better, I would say. I think you should try both out, see what you think. I would recommend it, anyways. So that's that one, the Casino Royale Mystic Edition. <coughs> it is number eight, I believe. Next up, we got. Uh, number seven, the Legends Persian Edition deck. Very straightforward tuck case and deck. 
it does have this right here, which is actually a threaded embossed logo. It's actually done with cross stretching, uh, threading. Same with the sides. It's very interesting, different, unique, probably time consuming and expensive. <laughs> uh, the cards, however, are fairly straightforward for standard finish. Nothing too exciting. I think they did modify the court cards a bit and they got less color than usual. The important ace is the ace of diamonds, not the ace of spades, it's just standard. And there's the other joker. Fairly straightforward though. And one other lesser quality stocks and finishes, I think. And the back design, black with jackasses on it apparently. <laughs> Uh, but it's an okay deck. So that is number seven. Number six is one that I like myself quite a bit. It's the Bicycle Samurai V3 Red Edition. I love the red color. Uh, it's my favorite out of the Samurai decks. Nice Asian inspired, Japanese inspired. Court cards, you get a gaff card, double sided, and a double backer. Beautiful court cards, nicely done. Nice faces and pips. Nice aces as well. They're all custom. Here's your jokers, samurai warriors, and just a very nice deck overall. Bicycle stock, Urkus and Fist. Love the color they used. It's not a blood red or anything like that, it's just like a dark red, but it's nice. Definitely worth checking out. Number six, Bicycle Samurai, in red, specifically in red. Next up, and I probably butchered the name before, and I'll probably butcher it again, is the uh, number five, the Dawn Quixote decks from Cellar Window, and designed by Nam Tibone, made by Legends with a diamond finish, beautiful tuck cases with a gold or almost a copper foil inspired by the Don Quixote books. The one in the white is actually black faces. Completely custom. Faces, court cards, the pips. They actually got black pips, which is nice. And here's your back. It's pretty cool. Handles decently enough. Diamond finish. And the other one, naturally, it's a black tucky, so of course it is a white deck. And no, I did not put them in the wrong tuck cases. That's how they came. Weird, I know. And this one, there's your back. Same thing. Basically the same thing. It's just a different color faces. And they added some details, of course. But they're pretty cool. I like them. And there's a new version that will be available later this year. It was just on Kickstarter. So, yeah. I mean, not my... Probably not my favorite stocking finish combination, but the artwork is nice. So next on the list, number four, is from Encarded, the Celestial Decks. This one, really limited. There's only 500 produced. Beautiful foiling on the tuck cases and some embossing. Kind of a retro look to them. And this one is only a thousand, so they're both limited. Very velvety style tuck case as well. I like that. Um, nice custom pips and faces. Here's your jokers. They're very nice. Ace of spades is nice. The court cards, however, are pretty generic. Arco court cards. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. But I would have liked to have seen some more customization within them. But yeah, they're very nice decks. I love their red color. Very traditional looking. Usable. User friendly deck, that's for sure. This one, black faces, but the same style artwork as you can see. And it actually features beautiful red foil on the backs. And the backs are not actually black, as you can see, they're a dark navy blue. Very interesting, I like it. That is number four. Definitely uh, recommend checking those out. I'll put these away. Now get on with number three. Number three is one that I'm a big fan of. It is the Treble Clef from JD14. It was on Kickstarter 
fairly standard tuck case, no foil or embossing or anything like that, like some people like. Numbered, I got a nice little number, 89. Custom stamp seal. Uh, the cards, you get a couple of gimmick cards. Well, actually, there's one. Where's the other one? <laughs> um, oh. Oh, wait, that was it. Sorry. It's a... <laughs> I, I'm confusing myself. So you get also one that's a different color, and then there's this one. Gimmicky. Comes with an effect that you get now. Uh, Watts online. Simple jokers. Nice custom port cards. Simple, but nice. There's your Ace of Spades. Very nice deck. It's got... It's printed by... It doesn't say, but looking at the stock and finish, it's definitely printed by Expert or Legends. I just don't remember which one. It's got, it looks like a robusto stock, or finish, I should say. A nice stock. It handles beautifully. I really like the handling on this one. I like the finish. One of my favorite finish stock combinations that they have. I definitely recommend checking this one out. It's nice, simple, elegant, beautiful. Nice, simple back design. Beautiful color. And I do hope to see a blue one eventually. I think that's the plan anyways. So that's number three, the treble clef deck. Next on the list. Number two. And this is again very close, but number two is the Vigor. And it's a very nice tuck case. There's Vigor on the side. This is by Alvin Herp and Ido Hong. And uh, distributed and printed by Bomb Magic. Bomber Magic. Bomber Playing Guards. Suffolk with Vigor. <laughs> um, <clears throat> custom, completely custom the faces. Bluest colors for the spades and clubs. Custom faceless court cards. Uh, very simple jokers, however. And the Ace of Spades. There's the Aces. The Aces are all custom. And you can get this on the website still. And the back design is very cool. And it's very nice for fanning and forcing. And actually, as you can see, it handles beautifully. I really like the handling, the stock and finish combination that they use on this. They're not going to tell you what that is because they want to keep it a secret. But it's a beautiful... I think it's a nice stock and finish combination. It handles very nicely. Looks very good. Definitely deserves to be up here. And I recommend check it out. BombMagic.tw There you can get them. Reasonably priced. They handle good. Actually, they're available at a variety of card magic slots. Last I checked. But yeah. Very cool. And lastly, but not least, last but not least, number one is the Divine Art Deck. And this is from Guru Playing Cards, inspired by Hindu mythology. Very nice tuck case. It's a soft tuck case. It's got gold foil right throughout, designed by Sanis Chaba. Numbered, only 500 produced. Unfortunately, the number's in a bad spot. Seal's in a bad spot. <laughs> um... Premium quality point cards, it says these are actually printed in China. I believe they're printed by Make Point Cards. Here you see more gold foil. And it's a bit thicker of a tuck case. And there's a reason for that, I suppose. And that is because they included this little booklet that gives information on who all the court cards and ace figures are. Uh, the deck is beautiful. Gold foil on the backs. Very nice. Nice gilded gold edges and I like that antique type gold color and on top of all that they handle very nice they handle I mean they don't handle the nicest out of all the decks but considering it's got gilding and gold foil it spreads nicely and fans nicely it's got Hindu mythology figures throughout nice pips lots of uh Hindu details and characters and figures in there. Very well done. Very well designed. I was a big fan of it. I don't think I rated it a 10 out of 10, but I probably should have. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. It's actually got an interesting stock and finish combination, I guess. I thought that was supposed to be linen, but it's not. It's just a smooth type finish. But anyways, 
Handles good, looks good, it's number one. I like it, I recommend checking it out. That is that. That is the top 10 decks for March 2017. Stay tuned next month. I will be doing the April 2017 decks, and I definitely got enough to do that right now. And more still on the way. So that is that. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Check out the ball point cards. Use the code VJZ for you. Save 10% on your order. You'll find many of the decks that I saw you there. And that is that. I'll see you next time with more.